Hello. Welcome to the stream of Frogger 1997, I think. This was an early PS1 game I had as a kid. And was actually a pretty logical progression in the uh, Frogger franchise. As much as that was ever worth. It was worth a lot in the arcade days, obviously, but... Oh, let me uh, focus the window. I had to... So this is technically second stream of this. I did, I did a Frogger Stream Zero, which I did not upload because there were so many problems with it. And I had to, uh, I had to stop the stream. I had to, uh, figure out some performance things to get the game running in a reasonable capacity, which it is now, so. This is effectively the first Frogger stream. I made sure saving and everything was working. Everything looked nice for the PS1. And I did the first level just to test it, but, uh... Well, they, they technically these are retro levels. I don't know if you'd call them the first level, but... I'll do it, just to show it off. Hello, Darian. I don't know if you were here for the previous Frogger stream, but uh, it's actually working this time. Look how nice and smooth it is. Uh, yeah, I had this. I had this as a kid, and this was again a very early PS1 game. Much like Rayman 1, it suffers in some ways from the, uh, it still has the, like, Super NES era game design. Game audio is a bit too loud. Okay, that's good to know. I can change that. I said I, I, te I tested the levels. Okay, I'll turn it down a little bit. I know that I never cleared this game as a kid. I did not fully ascertain why in the previous stream. I don't know if maybe I because I, I did I tested the save and it does save your progress. Like as long as I I save the game, I do have access to all the levels that uh, that I've unlocked. Oh! So it's not the kind of game where I can get a permanent game over and just have to start everything over again. It might just be that the game got that hard by the end of it. We have a pretty limited number of lives to work with, so... We'll get to the last level in the games, and, uh, this... ...isn't really a good rep representation of the overall game. These retro levels. Which is why I kind of considered them their own thing. I'll see how far I get. In a quick run of them, though. I think I only made it past, like, two or three stages. The first real level of this game is brutal. It is not a good first level at all. 
you expect, you know, a first level to kind of ease someone into the game, show them what to expect. No, this, this, this game goes balls to the wall immediately. Again, not counting this as the first level, but the one that we'll do that is not just Frogger Arcade. You mentioned that Frogger TV show yet. There was a Frogger TV show? I'm not actually familiar with that. I know that in the PS2 era, this is what they did with the franchise. This is what Frogger became. And uh, unsurprisingly, it, it died out after entries like this. They haven't been doing much with Frogger of, of late. But you know what? Where's, where's, uh, where's Frogger 99? What are they doing with that? That's what all the, that's what all the arcade games are doing, right? Well, how would that even work? Up! There's probably gonna be a lot of noises in this stream. There are beaver hazards? Hello, Illy Talks. That looks awful. What looks awful? This game? I like this game. Again. Not the best example of the game overall, because these are just... This first set of levels is just an adaptation of the arcade game. The main levels are more... what Frogger as a PS1 game would be. That new show coming out. Oh, the... Yeah, they, they're doing a Frogger live-action game show. That That's what they're doing with the Frogger franchise in 2021. Evan knows why. Gotta worry about beavers and snakes. Was all this in the original Frogger? I don't know. I don't know anyone who's played the arcade Frogger in 20 years. Uh, name entry screen, you can't go from right to left, top to bottom. Alright, so now I have all those unlocked, and then the real levels are in little world chunks. And you can skip ahead, which was nice for a game of this era. You don't necessarily have to do all of them. You have a few that you can choose to do right out of the get-go. So this is our first standard level, and it is a massive, sprawling, highly demanding, easy-to-get-lost-in monstrosity of a first level. I don't know why they thought this would be the best introduction to the game. It's, it's spelunky logic. It's balls to the wall immediately. We have to punish the player. For playing this game. <sighs> Maybe it was to show off the fact that you didn't have to do the levels in order. They wanted to actively encourage people not to do this level first. Oh, don't start with level one, you'll regret it.
So this is what we'll be doing. Be looking all over these levels for the five little frogs, which would be more bearable if it wasn't on a timer, but we only have, uh, what is it, 60 second runs to do it in? Well, a speedrun of this game would look interesting. Actually, a tool-assisted speedrun of this game would look interesting. Because it's grid-based, so it would be a very, very specific set of motions. Camera. Ah! Funky soundtrack. We don't really have any current, like, game platform mascots or anything with a funk theme, do we? Oh, I got that one already. Landed on those turtles. How to tell if a game is early or late PS1? Does it have a password system? Is triangle the back button? I guess this doesn't... I don't think this does have a password system, actually. Crash 1 did. That was a means to save the game, was password. Let me double-check the game audio, because I'm paranoid now. Password system, actually. Hello, Crash other one. me. Let's try World 2. Also not particularly forgiving. But if you know where you're going, you can just kind of rush it in this level. And there's not instant death water everywhere, so you know... I'd, I'd almost- I'd take this over the level one, I think. Just gotta book it. Also, random Kabuki man joins us for honeybee level. Don't question it. This is this is before games fucked around. Should I just be able to eat the bees? I guess there's too many of them. This is the dark souls of, of platform puzzle games. Every PS1 game is the Dark Souls of something. It's almost like they just made games harder back then. All 
There we go. What? Look at how small that level was, and how little water there was compared to the 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 stupid pond traffic park level. And squirrels. I don't know that I, I, I've ever cleared this level. Riding on owls. But, you know, that's cool. I don't know where I'm going. Is this guy just going? I think he's just going in a circle. Where am I going? I can't see nothing. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to guess and check and just die to the squirrels over and over again. Okay, can I see from here? I can't. I cannot see either side of the squirrel platform. I have no idea where to go from there. Also does fall damage. Good run. Mega Man is the Dark Souls of 2D platforming. Y'all ain't never played Rayman! I think I would say Rayman is harder than the NES Mega Man's. And also a little bit more fair. No, no bias. Definitely. Where am I going? Okay. Not that way. What's on this end? Nothing. There's another owl? They, they don't expect me to do that, do they? Okay, I guess it's not that bad if I'm quick. You re it's, it's really memorization, though. This is not a game about patience. This is a game about, about hopping around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. Oh, that's a, that's a, yep, I do have to do that to get at least one frog. Probably should have ridden that owl around to confirm there was nothing else there. Ooh, hello. Uh, oh, uh, really, you got, you got falling platforms and frogger? Okay. Oh, that's a death bird! I got one of the five frogs. So did you ever reach this stage, Darian? Did you beat the honeybee level? I know I got- I know I beat the honeybee level as a child, but I never beat this one. Once again, because of the way that uh, YouTube is working, I, I can see YouTube chat. However, it is not showing up on the. It's not showing up on on stream. If you'd like to show up on stream, you'll have to use the Twitch chat for now. Ah! Not even that's a safe spot. Okay, you know what? I, I gotta treat this like Sly Cooper. A lot of these lives are just gonna be reconnaissance. I'm not doing the I'm not doing the Great Frog heist yet. I just got, I gotta scope out the level. I gotta find the weak spots. Ah, oh, okay. So they're gonna go back and forth like that. And there's nothing here. It's just not slack of safety. Did the 
levels in order. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll try going back to Lily Islands. I did beat this level in the in the stream zero. So I know where the frogs are. It's just god, it's huge and annoying. What an awful first level for a video game. What is the worst first level in a video game that you can think of? Aside from this, since we're already talking about this one. <laughs> Why did I do that? Mega Man letting you choose what levels you wanted to do in what order was pretty cool for the time. No other games did that. Okay. Momentary safety. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm gonna get the hardest frogs first, because those are the ones that I'm gonna risk dying the most on. I gotta do this. No! <laughs> Sorry. Can I just have a, a relatively safe lane of traffic in both directions? Why why's that way gotta be so fast? I made it. This is the farthest reach in this direction. Is there anything over here? I just came here for no reason. I can't do that from here. I got orange up there. Okay. Uh, yes, I stream to both Twitch and YouTube. I had Twitch affiliate for a little while, but, uh... Guys, I wasn't getting any viewers, and I wasn't making any money off of it, so there wasn't really any point. I went back to, uh... I went back to doing both. Some people YouTube is more convenient for. Some people, uh, Twitch works better on their computer, or whatever they're watching on. Okay. That's all those. And then the other two are off across some lily pads that you wouldn't immediately know that you could jump on because I'm pretty sure those triple lily pads up there you can't jump on! Doing it again. We're not giving up. I'm gonna beat this stupid first level. Come on, give me another log. Give me another log at a not corner, please. One that I can safely jump to. There we go. Took long enough. Gotta ride a stupid pelican and not fall off or I will die because there's fall damage even on a cliff of this height. 
Okay, there's one across a series of... So that's the fifth one, across all those uh, lily pads. Here's the stairway to heaven. You know that, don't you? Alright, where's these other lily pads I gotta deal with? Here they, here they be. That wasn't too bad. Oh, I'm on Twitch if you'd rather be there. All right, now the ones we've already done. In other news, I just recently learned that the Majora's Mask randomizer devs dropped a patch or an update that allows you... Do I need to go that way? I don't think I need to go that way. Maybe I do. I'm still... Mi yeah, I do for one. The Majora's Mask randomizer dev devs dropped an update that allows you to add rupee drops, consistent ones, like not random ones, like uh, jars, and I believe monster drops into the item pool. So like the Fierce Deity Mask could be in a random pot anywhere in the world. This excites me. I am uh, very strongly considering. It's been about a year since my last uh, Majora randomizer run, so I'm considering doing one solo. I don't know if we'll have time to get Jack in on it. Would still like to do a, another randomizer with him, either multiplayer Ocarina of Time or Wind Waker. We've never done a randomizer stream of. There we go. Okay, one more. It's the easiest one. Just about. Easy first level. He jumped on the log and the frog was frantically flapping his legs. That's uh, when you get like close to safety. Wow, that was a save. It's like a freebie. Like you just missed a clean hop, but it'll let you it'll let you have it anyway. Uh that's a balloon. I got to ride a balloon? I did not clear this one on the previous stream. I don't know every location in this level. I got to ride balloons. Okay. Where are we going now? We're riding birds? Why am I riding everything? Frogs don't belong in the sky. But how do how do I even? Okay, I can survive that jump. I I do I do make noises. You should hear me during Hey, there's a lawnmower! Where's the person? Why are there rampant lawnmowers running around without anybody behind them? Don't 
know where I'm going, just looking for frogs. Trying not to get lawnmowered. Oh, that I can't walk there. Uh, just the memorization. That's what it is. I know where two are. I should have. I should have gone for that. Oh, this ends. You know what? I'm paranoid. I should save. That would be a good idea. There's no autosave. You gotta do it manually. That's how you know it's an early PS1 game. Actually got into a conversation, I think it was in Ganon Chord. About, uh... How the PS1... The PlayStation buttons were designed for specific purposes. And then, like, no game anywhere did that with them. What was it? Uh, the bot X? Like, circle was supposed to be confirm. X was supposed to be back or cancel. The square was supposed to be a menu button. And I don't remember what triangle was supposed to be. If anything in particular. Hey, I made it. Is there anything here? There's a whole lot of nothing. Oh, there's swans. Where do the swans go? Into a lawnmower is where they go! Uh -huh. is something. Wow, that's a mean place to hide a frog. I assume there's probably one more over in that swan area. Ah! Triangle being the exit button. I think it- I think Triangle was the back button for, like, the first couple of, of Budok- Dragon Ball Z Budokai games, maybe? That's all I remember using it on the PS2, though. I think it was Circle in the Tony Hawk's Pro Skaters. The first game that I played that I know was Circle for back was, uh, Kingdom Hearts. Which also used it for Jump. Which was super weird to me, because I came- I didn't come from, like, a JRPG background. Wow, that's brutal. I came from a platformer background, so jump being anything but X was super bizarre. <sighs> I hate this lawnmower. It is in the worst possible place at the worst possible time. such slow, sluggish progress to just try to meander through these stupid levels and find one more frog each time until you memorize all of them! This is a bad place to be. I'm gonna die. I am the dead now. Go! This is why it put a sign there! End it. I'll start new. I, I want a new frog. Listen. 
I assume the reason that Kingdom Hearts was like that was because it expected players to come from a Final Fantasy kind of background that was more about menu navigation for combat. Little article says the triangle represented viewpoint. That's what it was. That's what it was intended for. Which it was in like Spyro. Some, you know, early PS1 games. Spyro wasn't an early PS1 game, but it was a PS1 game. That, so that lawnmower right there is my worst enemy thus far. I need to get past him. I did it! Hey! Follow your dreams. I'm an, I'm a Nintendo baby, so... My expectation is that, like, the bottom button on any controller is jump, and the left button is action. Which it was in Mario World, and Donkey Kong, and Crash Bandicoot, and a lot of those kinds of games. I think I'm stranded. I may be the dead. Wait. Salvation. more time. Made it! Oh. Okay, so that's the swan ones. I know there's two up here. I still have to find one. <gasps> That's not something down there, is it? No, that's just a fly. Okay. What's that to the left? Is there anything down here? No, they wouldn't expect me to cross this. There's no way I can cross that. It's going way too fast. Okay, so there's the balloons. Anything over here? stuff down there, but... Why don't you have your Discord set up to show you streaming? Uh, doesn't it? Why did, why did I come over here? I shouldn't have done this! Bet there's something over there. That looks like a place that a thing would be. I can just I can just hop over there. Why why am I doing all this? It is not. I'll uh I'll check that later. I thought I had it connected to my Twitch. Okay, so I'm gonna follow that path and then maybe I'll know where all the frogs are, and I can have a shot at beating level two of Frogger. Won't y'all be proud? Okay, let's just let's just hop. A hop, a skip, and a jump. Nothing. There is nothing over here. Maybe that's just decorative. I, they can't expect me to jump across this. Can they? There's no way. That's way too fast. I wish I could just see over there to be sure. Oh yeah, I wasn't saying it out loud, but that's a the comment people always 
the joke people always make about Frogger. Even the arcade game and this version. How big is this frog compared to these cars? <gasps> I forgot about the lawnmower. I'm curious about the lore of the Frogger universe, the cinema the Frogger cinematic universe. We need we need an explanation for this. The people demand to know. Okay, so that's stuff. One two what's over here? This is this is the ground area with all the stuff. But there's no frogs over here. There's no apparent place to go from here. Is there another place to go from where the balloons are? Gotta balloon it? Why did I... Where does this tunnel go, by the way? There's not a road on the other side. Goes down. Okay. This, it's got to be like a like a like a sixty degree drop. Like it goes down to be gone that quickly. We found four of the five frogs. We need to find the last one. Here's this bird fella. Does he go anywhere else but this one island? He doesn't seem to. Is there anything else on this island? No, wait. What, what are you doing, frogger? That was where I wanted to jump. Well, we found him. That is a, that's a, that's a mean frog. They got two frogs on the way to that one frog. What's the point of them being in different locations then? Frogger and Smash with an extremely detailed and lore accurate moveset consisting of hop and tongue, and that will be his entire moveset. So, what in theory would a Frogger 99 style game be? By premise of the game, it's it's a game that's suited to, you know, survival. I guess you would have to go through levels and just uh, get progressively more difficult. More and more players would be eliminated. You could somehow up the difficulty of other players' levels by doing well. I guess you wouldn't even have to, like, have multiple... You wouldn't have to change levels. It could just be one level that you keep collecting baby frogs on. Alright, three out of five. We're doing it. We are making progress. We're making progress. I am not sorry for that joke. I'm in a bad place. I'm going to die. This is the end of Frog.
Okay. And now my other biggest obstacle, that one stupid lawnmower. This guy, right there. Screw that guy. Is this just the wrong swan to be on? Maybe I just gotta take the second swan when I get there. I'm gonna make that the title of the YouTube video, Making Progress. Please don't go underwater. I don't think these turtles go underwater. Oh, good lawnmower RNG. It's not RNG, the level starts in the same place every time, which is why this would make a good uh, speedrun game. Because it's consistent. Mower Mania, that sounds familiar. I probably made it to this level as a kid. I don't know if I beat it. Oh boy, yeah, I remember this. It's like, it's Zelda boulders. But deadlier? It's the Deku Palace Garden on crack! God, what a way to go. Look at that death. Imagine if Mario had deaths that brutal. <sighs> how, did, how did these babies get here? How did they survive? How are they going to survive the trip back? Am I carrying them on my back? Do you know what I, get, I went through to get you, you little shit? Okay, so last time I went left. Which means this time I should go right. I don't like this. I don't like this level. Ah! these dudes on this path? Where's the other? What's the other path? What's this on the right go? Do I want to go that way? That way looks scarier. What is this path? Where is this guy going? Okay, this is this spot's safe. I don't know where else is safe though. Uh He's even like got like little guts that spill out. I, I, can I even go that way? I can, technically. In the most technical sense.
Well, what's, what's back here? Fuck all? I just went in a big circle. Where is the frog? I gotta find the frog. Where my baby at? There must be something back here, because I haven't been back here yet. <laughs> this one's out of control. Look at the way it's moving. It's nuts. There he is. I see one. Oh, where's your brother? Is that a frog? I think I saw a spot. No, I got that one. God damn it. And I don't have time to explore. Don't think I've been up there, but I don't really have time to look. Four of them are. I'm gonna beat this stupid lawnmower level, and we're gonna hit. We're gonna see a new level that I've never seen before. I'm I'm worried if I go to a different level now, I'm gonna forget everything. need the pockets, I say. As if to prove me wrong. Let's follow a left wall. Let's use the maze tactic. That seems like a smart idea here. Okay, so we, we did the left path. Now we'll go this way. What's up here? Something that's gonna kill me? Yes, it's these this path. We've been here. But there's more up there. Yeah, the time limit is <laughs> unnecessary. If this game were made a few years later, I don't think there would be a time limit. That's why I mentioned old game design, is that uh, this was still in the era that there were... like, relics of arcade gaming still lingering in console game design. For example, the idea that anyone would be competing for high scores on this home console game. 
Will I do everything up here, or is there more? There was... I don't know. Should have paid more attention. I'm gonna keep at it. I'm not giving up. So there's the circles, the circle mowers just go in that one direction. What were some, uh, what were some games you grew up with, Tox? I would say I was a kid during the N64 PS1 era, but my early video games were hand-me-downs, so I started with uh, NES and Super NES games. Oh, this is this just loops around to the the this place. We've been here. But we haven't been all the way through here. God, what is this path? Yeah, there's no no reason to go all the way around like that. Why did I... What were some N64 games you had? I missed out on some franchises, like I never had a Star Fox game. I never had Banjo-Kazooie as a kid. I was aware of it. I never had F-Zero until F-Zero GX, so I never played the N64 one. Okay, I haven't been down here yet. There's one, there's my last little buddy. I didn't have Donkey Kong 64. I did have Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2. I love those. I don't like how they went to, like, cartoony as the DK franchise went on. I liked the Donkey Kong Country 1 aesthetic the most. The, like, natural ambience. It was a very relaxing kind of, kind of setting. Which, that was kind of the only platformer like that. Echo was kind of like that in terms of aesthetic. Got it. I think this is the run. Just gotta remember where that last frog is. Was that- is that it? Or did we go there already? We went there already. Ah! It's the one on the far right. Okay, I know where I'm going. So this is a game where you play as Captain Ginyu, and it is your mission to rescue the other members of the Ginyu Force, who have also been turned into frogs. That is the plot of Frogger. 
cartoony, really. But Donkey Kong Country 1 was not really cartoony. I mean, it had, it had little animations at times, but like the music, the setting, it tried very hard to have a very natural kind of ambient tone to it. It was a very, very beautiful game. Just threw that away. Donkey Kong Country 2 got a little bit more, a little wackier, but still overall kept a kind of, uh, you know, it, it, it focused a lot on the aesthetic. It tried to make it, like, look good and feel uh, epic, I, I would even say. You know, the epic Donkey Kong gamer. Great soundtrack, David Wise for both of those. And then 3 did not have David Wise on the soundtrack. And it was very Saturday morning cartoony. It, it was... That was when Rare started to be ban more Banjo-esque. And then by the time Donkey Kong 64 rolled around, it was like full-on Saturday morning cartoon. With K. Rule acting basically like Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog Robotnik. Oh, that, that, that darn Donkey Kong is always in the way of my plans. You know, that sort of thing. We got Goldo. Now these ones are going to be easy. We've done them so many times before. Also, I think I get points for narrowly avoiding things. I'm noticing little 50s pop up. <laughs> that is the wrong way to go! Country 1 is still a great game, but it does suffer from some bad game design. If you want 100% it, there are a lot of cases where they are, they're going to expect you to jump blindly into pits to find secrets. I haven't gotten red yet. I gotta get him. Ah, there's nothing for me to get over here. Uh-oh. I'm in a place I shouldn't be. I'm gonna have to go for red. Don't have any other option. Ah! What game did you say? Uh, Donkey Kong Country 1. I have kind of similar feelings to between Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2 as Paper Mario 1 and 2. I like the aesthetic of the first one better but the second one is an improvement in pretty much always gameplay. Okay. Let's take care of yellow and red. These guys are annoying. Again, getting a 
impatient. Just give me a new frog. Donkey Kong Country 2 introduced the beloved game mechanic of being able to throw your co-op partner as a projectile. Which instantly makes me love any video game. It's a great part of Little Big Planet. Just being able to throw allies at, at things. Mario Maker, dramatically enhanced by being able to throw allies and in inevitably kill them. I'm gonna go for red first. I'm gonna get him out of the way. One up. Good to have. Another good reason to go for red first. Okay, almost made a mistake. I'm fine. Got yellow. Who am I going for? There's one more over here I gotta get. It's the... it's the easy guy. This fella, right here. Purple. Better. What was that? What was O points for? Whatever. Was there a tongue mechanic in Frogger on the arcade? I don't honestly remember. Doing it. This is the time. This is the one. He's just hanging out up here as our last guy, behind a bunch of circular mowers. Circular, sentient, rampant mowers! I'm gonna apologize to the frogs when I do play Majora's Mask. They have a hard life, those frogs. Slow and steady. As, as slow and steady as I can go in this game. Gonna be real careful. Because I don't want to get a game over now. That would be very bad for that to happen. Sounds fun. Oh, it's dark. You know what I love in a video game is dark levels. Is this just the first level again, but dark and with spinning? No. Uh... bird pass by here? I'm gonna have to super hop on this bird, aren't I? Nope. Okay, I don't. Where does the bird go? Bird go here. What do here? Ride new bird.
Bird do goo. Get red frog. This better not end in a dead end. I'm not gonna die riding this log, am I? Oh god, I wish I could see more of the level. Oh no, how'd that happen? I was on the ground! Didn't want to ride the stupid bird. I don't know where I'm going, man. Okay, new territory. This is extremely similar to, it is just the first level, but God damn it. It is just a hard type version of level one. Was this necessary? I know the layout at least, more or less. I don't like this this pattern. This is a bad pattern. God, these cars. Don't like it. I don't like this. Well, where's this? Did nowhere? There's nothing here? And I think I'm done with, with lawn, swamp, garden world. Let's come back. Let's come back to those levels. Let's try out Gear World. We haven't been to Gear World yet. I like Gear World. This was my favorite, this was my favorite world as a kid. Only has two levels, but that's okay. They're two cool levels. They got like buttons and switches and things. Look at this. Isn't this cool? And it's at full frame rate this time. Nice and small level size. There's a golden frog. What does he do? Just a bonus, this the lost sixth frog. At that uh, instant death water, now we gotta worry about instant death lava. screwed myself a little bit. Maybe. Maybe I'm still fine. Maybe I still got time. I think I gotta go to each side and then towards the middle. Yeah, that's what I gotta do. You 
insta-kill lava makes sense. What are, you, what are you talking about? Insta-kill water makes perfect sense. Frogs can't swim. I know biology. Get the thing, stupid frog. Oh boy, that's a platform. Did it say minus 500? Are, are, are there punishment bugs? Did I get punished for eating that particular bug? Ooh, this level's a little bit much on the PS1. Also, can't land on those, I guess. I want a new frog. I still got I still got some lives. I remember this running a little bit poorly on the actual PS1 hardware as well. This level might have just been a little bit too ambitious for 1997. It is cool to see. It utilizes the full, like, 3D effect, which is neat, though. Oh, those don't come back. Hmm. Well, I am now screwed. Oh, come on. I, I, I landed on him. That should count. Okay, so I just have to stop that guy at the right point. That's fine, I can do that. This seems like a comparatively linear level. Like, I'm gonna have to do most of these frogs in order. Those two kind of branch off, but... I also have to time my hops very carefully because of A, the platforms, and B, the lag. The input stutter. It's okay, it's part of the game. I just have to adapt to it. Oh boy. gonna line up. I just gotta get lucky. Oh! That's at a higher plane than I am on. Okay. I didn't know that. Let's go this way. Did I want to do that? <sighs> That's a cool frog. Okay, last one. One good thing about this level is that you can see all the frogs and paths. I don't I don't have to do any guessing. That's great. Now, I just got to go down. down from there. I don't have to wait for the platforms to line up. Did 
Just like that. Beautiful. Why did I do the super hop? Okay, we learned. That's okay. It was recon. Now we have nothing left to look forward to. We already did the best world lava crush. What's that? Is that a new world or is that another gear level? It's another gear level. But there were only two in the thing. Hmm. Well, this appears fairly complex. Can't see. Where am I going? What am I doing? Oh. Uh. Hmm. Oh, it, there are more. Maybe. It, does it add to it as you go through them? And the gold frog. Maybe there's only one gold frog to collect per world. I wonder how many worlds there are. I remember getting to an ice world that involved, like, real-time slipping and slopes and jump timing. And I remember that being awful. Let's try rotating this time. Oh, I can just do that. Oh, I can't do that. So I just happened through there and survived last time. I was a very lucky frog. His, how do his children continue to get into these situations? Frogger is at once the most neglectful parent and also the, the greatest parent. Okay, where am I going from here? I can't reach no buttons. Can't seem to do really anything. Maybe they were kidnapped, of course, by the evil Swampy. I know Frogger 2 is called Swampy's Revenge, and I think it's a crocodile. I don't know if the crocodile is involved with the plot of this game. Whatever plot there may be to this game. The epic tale that is Frogger 1997. What was the what was the point of that? I could have just walked over here. Why did I do that? So do I have to hit all four switches?
Those would appear to activate opposite platforms, though. <gasps> oh, they want me to go across all those. I see it, and I don't like it. The idea is the idea really that they're frog babies. I'm pretty sure that was the plot of Frogger. He's supposed to be saving his children from the opposite side of the pond. What? So if I ride those, I can activate that button. I don't know what that does. And there are buttons that I can activate on this side as well, and I don't know what they do. Probably like a, a Wikipedia article explaining the deep, complex lore of Frogger, I'm sure. Frogger fan fiction. Can't imagine it's any good, but it probably exists. Maybe Frogger makes cameo appearances in that that Smash fan fiction. You know, the, the longest piece of work in the English language thing? Okay, so maybe I don't want it moving. Maybe I just, like, want it to be there. Maybe a little bit closer. That activates that. Where does that go? Let me ride this fella. I see another platform over there that's activated. This just goes to the other side. I see another frog I have access to. I have no idea what that particular Smash fanfiction is all about. So I know where four of the five now are. Oh, I need to ride that one to activate... Okay. This is a, this is a very complex level. A lot of room for error. I see what I have to do and I don't like it. And I'm still missing one frog. I only know where four of them are. I, 
I use a life getting to that. What if the Smashers never defeated Taboo but only weakened him? What, do they all live in an apartment together now? Is that the plot? Is it Brawl and the Family featuring Taboo? Just, it's not worth going for that. I just die every time. Every time being the two times that I've gone for it. That is my official review of this level. Why did I do that? I didn't want to deactivate that. Now it's not going to be in time. Okay, it'll be exactly the right time. Okay, so there's Mr. Green Frog. I'm still missing one. one up above those guys? Supposedly will come to an end around 10 million words. So it's still ongoing. I heard it hit, it had been surpassed in word count. Oh, there is a frog over here. Okay. But here's my last guy. All frogs accounted for. This is the one. This is... We're gonna end this. A fic for Kantai Collection. Kantai Collection is the... Anime? Question mark series? that personifies battleships as cute girls. I don't know anything about it other than that's what it is. Hey! Zone complete. That's a new jingle, we haven't heard that. I feel accomplished. I did a whole thing. Let's let's go back to retro. Let's see if we can get that again. Let's do retro four and five. I keep expecting that to play when I hear this drum beat. Oh, these are water turtles! Contact Collection is originally a game. Oh, I didn't know that. 
It seemed very media franchise-y. Like, that's the kind of series that would have lots and lots of collectibles. And figures, and visual novels, and every, every kind of media that they could manage to make for it to sell. It seemed like one of those. far left one. That's my initials. I'm guessing that the timer just gets shorter for each consecutive retro level. Okay, far left, taken care of. We're at a type of level where I can no longer afford to, to wait and be cautious. Like that. A lot of these times I now just have to go for it because there's no there's no openings. How did that work? I just two framed. Ride you, Mr. Crocodile. I'm gonna get my far right child. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like that one that much. Those are water turtles. But I don't got a choice! Okay, we did it! Look at that! second runs. Boy, it feels like so much longer than that. Oh, this actually has more time than the previous one. 30 seconds. That's just, that's the failure instrument, the tuba, right? Let's try let's try this again, this mess. I think I can clear this game. I think as an adult, with time and patience and abundant skill, as you can plainly see, I can finally beat Frogger for the PlayStation 1. It's not going to be a single stream, I'll have to come back to this, but I think I can eventually do it. This will be two or three streams, I'm sure. Probably three, given how difficult the last levels are certain to be. Side note, my favorite genre of music, Frog Step. Oh, they're not evenly spaced, that's what's going on. 
There's squirrels here! Why's it gotta be squirrels? Am I gonna be able to go down to the forest floor? Oh, that's right, I'm on a time limit. Silly me. Okay, cool music loop. I feel like there's more over there. Ah, it's a squirrel. I see, I see the golden frog. We're not just gonna beat Frogger, we're gonna 100% Frogger. We're gonna destroy Frogger. Okay, we're probably not, but I see him. I gotta go for him, right? See him. He's in there. I'm worried about squirrels. Okay, so I can reach the forest floor. It does exist in this level. Just jump right into him. What is what is this this suddenly hip hop? Why why is the forest the hip hop place? So this go this side goes nowhere. Nowhere I can jump from here. Know about this side has orange frog. I don't think I can jump to the ground from there. However, there's more tree branch. And another apparent way to the forest floor. So let's see, I know where blue and orange and gold are. Oh no, it just keeps that I have the gold frog. Great. I only have to get him once. That's, I love that. I wouldn't put it past a game of this era to, to expect you to have to get the golden frog and complete the level on that run. Okay. There's this bird fella. Can I go down from here? I cannot. I need to get on that owl very quickly. Why are these owls flying so low to the forest floor? Yeah, that's fair. Garbage game design would not be uh, out of place in this game. Lovely game. Could use some modern polish. Frogger remastered. When? Actually, who made? I think this. I think this is a Konami game. Which means, obviously, we're never going to see a remaster or any hand on this series ever again. myself. I wonder if I can get to the forest floor from that frog, but I doubt it, from that frog mushroom. Boy, this would uh, this would have been something to include in the Smash Brothers Konami rep. 
They just throw in a, a, a few music tracks from Frogger on the PlayStation 1, along with the Belmonts. Konami has no issue giving it its properties out. Like, as long as they they don't have to make games themselves, they'll, they'll give everything to Smash. Oh great, I can go to the ground from here. Is that turtles? Why are there evil, tiny turtles? Or are they hedgehogs? Well, because that owl was down there before, I have a sneaking suspicion that I will have to ride that owl. Not this one, the next one. Come on, ow! <sighs> Where are you going? You going high! Oh god, there's so much up here! How'd you get here, purple frog? That's true. Everything in this forest is extremely harmonious. I have gotten everything over here, it seems like. Unless there's more on in the hedgehog side of the forest. There could be. There's a whole ground layer down here. Oh, there's a log. What's through the log? Is there a squirrel who's gonna kill me? Man, I'd love to have time to explore. <gasps> Could not have taken any longer. Man. I did it. I didn't like that level. Even the victory theme kind of sounds like it, like a failure. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can clear the first few worlds. We still got that stupid night version of the level. And we got Retro 5 we gotta do. Which I assume will have the gold frog just sitting on a log or something. He'll just spawn in. There he is, look at that boy. Here comes that boy. <sighs> Stupid slow crocodile. Okay, we're making progress. Oh no. How come the beaver just disappears under the turtles? Where's he going? Are the turtles eating him? <sighs> I'm just- I'm- I'm bad at this. I'm bad at OG Frogger. Beaver. Sounds right. We're 
gonna do it. We're gonna 100% the first four worlds of Frogger PS1. I'm gonna feel good and accomplished this stream. <laughs> Got it. I wonder what the deadliest turtle in the world is. The deadliest non-fictional turtle. Obviously, obviously Bowser is the deadliest fictional turtle. But I want to know if there are any like actually dangerous natural turtles. Does this world have stoplights? How is this traffic just c completely uninterrupted? Hardcore buffering. Uh, try refreshing. Does Twitch have quality settings today? I think YouTube always has quality settings so that you can set it to whatever you need to. Twitch, it just depends on whether they have the servers free or not. God, is the, is the last one all crocodiles? I don't think there are logs on the last line anymore. It's just all crocs. Uh, yeah, Twitch. Depending on... They only... <laughs> As I, it's been explained to me, whether they have a stream available at other servers than the one being streamed, other resolutions than the one being streamed, comes down to how much, how many, how many encoding servers they have free. And obviously, that it's going to prioritize, you know, big streamers with bigger audiences. So if I'm streaming a game like Smash or something that a lot of people like and tune in for, I'm more likely to have quality settings than, you know, something like this. Ah! I've got a source and auto. Yeah, so we do not have quality settings on Twitch today. Shut up, cars! I'm doing my best. It was fine for the longest time. I don't know. There's a hiccup in your internet, maybe? This is, uh, this is pretty tricky. I don't know how long I'd last in Frogger 99. Have you played any of the classic Battle Royale games, Tox? I think I did one stream each of uh, Tetris, Mario, and Pac-Man. This is the run. This is the, we got two out of we got the hardest two done.
Ah! That wasn't the run. Welcome back, Darian. Uh, well, we perfected two worlds. Yeah, I got all the levels and I got the golden frogs. I think if I'm diligent, I can I can 100% the first four worlds this stream. What, what, what do we got? We got Bat World, I think it's Caves, Sky World, and... I don't know if I've ever done Fishbone World. I'm, I think I've only gotten as far as the Sky World. Save often. Deaths have been confirmed. I guess turtles just aren't that deadly. I bet someone's been bitten by a snapping turtle and gotten an infection or something. Statistically, that has to have happened. My next name entry is <laughs> No Let's try the pond level again. Five of these stupid things. No wonder they reused one. Hopefully they didn't reuse two. The last one's not going to be like Bow Wow Falls, but dark. Missed my chance. It's over here, I forget. Well, that was the that was the first island. Frog. Not too bad loading times, all things considered. Being a 97 PS1 game. When did Crash 1 come out? That might have been around, this might have been like 96 was Crash 1. This might have been after that. Every time. <laughs> oh, that one hurt my throat.
I just, I want to get to that middle lane, is what I'd like. Because then I can just follow these cars. These cars are slow enough. Mostly. Okay, they're not that slow. Worst possible time. I do archive all of my streams to YouTube. If you would like to know how it ends later. I'm probably probably not going to be going too much longer. Boy, I would like to get these four these what is, or first worlds done though. Crash was ninety six, okay. I knew this was 97. Hey, this being a... Co I want... Does, is Konami the current owners of the Frogger license? Or were they just, like, contracted to make this game because they make video games? I thought Frogger was like Atari, but maybe I just... I don't, I don't know. So the purple ones comes in two. Just memorization. I'd like to get over there so I can know what all is over there exactly. Okay. Is this just points? Is that it? That's well, a one up. It's just the orange guy. Okay, so that's all that's to the right. What's to the left? Thus far, well, I was going to say the traffic is my biggest enemy, but I can't even say that because there's instant death all over this level. This whole level just sucks. Okay, these come in twos. Maybe? There's green fella. Is there anything all the way to the far left? That I don't remember. I think I made it over there once. No, it comes in, the orange comes in threes, okay? Well, if I could just, like, see a map of the whole level, know where I need to go, that sure make this easier. Can't have games be too easy, though. I wonder if Bennett Foddy would have, would have, would enjoy this game. I wonder if he would find this sig significantly, sufficiently difficult to amuse him. They are the current license holders. They have a shitty Frogger mobile game at the moment. So that's what they're doing with the franchise. Mo mobile game and uh, game show.
Oh, there's more than a lot of classic arcade franchises. Like, what, what, what's Asteroids or Space Invaders doing? One. Two. Three. Ah, ah, ah. Four? God dang it, Bobby! Dog, please go! One, two, three, four. There is nothing apparently over here. Not even a log to go to. Okay, so one on the left, one on the right. Memorization. What, what about the spinning lily pads? What's over there? Gotta be more stuff. Oh, I want it on that, actually. Alright, haven't been here yet. Any frog buddies? No? Oh, there's a golden fell. Okay. Well, we needed that. <gasps> there's lawnmowers on this island! I see! So we have two accounted for. There's that lily pad path I just saw. There's Lawnmower Island. And there might be something from that middle island. I think there was a bird we could ride or something. That one. like this island. Oh, ah, uh, okay. Ride the bird. There's a blue guy. Okay, bird, bird, go here. That's four frogs accounted for. Let me check out that middle island again. Where can I go from here? Where do we go now? Sweet bird of mine. Okay, bird, bird go frog. Bird go high. Bird goes up here to other bird? Other bird. I think this was the first one we got. What a pointless power-up location. Super top. I, I, I'm done when I get there. Okay, so I got blue on the lily pads, and I got the two traffic ones, which are probably the hardest. Why did I... I didn't want to go there. I need to be on the... I need to be on the outside logs. That was a dumb on my part. Okay. Ride one of these, and I'm gonna keep riding it all the way to the lily pads. That's what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna finish this level. This 
is a good use of 3D for a transition from a franchise to 3D. There was what? Ow! Oh! Stolen from me. Those are okay. Damn it. I don't want to start this over again. <laughs> I wonder if Crash would have been a different game that it started out in 2D and then moved to 3D. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, one left. I think I'm getting extra lives when I reach a certain number of points. I'm not positive. I think that's what's happening. Okay. Just the the mid the pink comes in twos or is it ones? did it. Oh! Screw that level! Bow Wow Revenge. It's just, it's a hard version of the, of the Bow Wow Falls level. It's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Let's do our recon. Good recon. Much learned. We got one more in each of these worlds. We don't- we got no more golden frogs to worry about. I want to do these two levels. And then we'll come back next time for more worlds. God, those purple ones are fast. Alright. What's down here? Can I go down there? Okay, there's there's steps. It's a four-step program. Oh! Uh, you were there. I see. Bet I can't make that jump. Oh, I can! Where am I going? Back onto the street? But why, though? There's nothing over here. There's no frogs. What a pointless area. I 
see him down there. So green is in the same spot. I cannot jump up there. Zero out of five frogs located. I bet they could get this on mobile if they really wanted to. This specific frog at Frogger game. I don't know how it would do in a modern game audience with its current game design, but... Actually, no, I take, I take it back. Don't do that, Konami. If you're gonna remaster this game, don't put it on mobile. I wonder how well this sold. I wonder how many people had this. Oh, that was lucky. Can I can I jump on that from here? I can. Oh, we got circle balloons. I see. I see, I see. So, it appears to be similar to the previous version of the level, just harder. In which case, we at least know the locations of the frogs, but still. Not nice, game devs. I can't, I can't even make an argument for patience is the key, because you can't be patient. You got 60 seconds, or however long it is. You have a very intentionally limited amount of time for each of these. Good for score-based games like Tony Hawk. Time limits... Not so much for, uh, explorative platformers. Oh, there's a branch. One is a dead end. Totally pointless for me to have done that. Unless a bird comes along or something. I'm gonna do it, though. I'm not giving up. YouTube again talks. Ugh, these stupid dogs. Three stupid dogs. Stars Brawl, Nasby, to come out. I don't remember if a date was announced or not. I remember making a comment on uh, Cow and Chicken not being in it. Having forgotten that Cow and Chicken was a Cartoon Network show, I always think of it as Nick because it is so similar in content to Ren and Stimpy. I gotta be real careful on those balloons. And Rocco's Modern Life as well. I just, I kind of think of that as a trilogy of potty humor era Nick. Except it wasn't Nick. It just felt like a Nick show.
Okay, for real this time. Th this is the one. And there's a lawnmower. Was that necessary? All this and a lawnmower? I see more balloons over there, too. Is there a further path from there? There can't be. They wouldn't have me go that far. I guess that'll be my next place to check if I get, like, four out of five frogs, but... Is. There's that stupid lawnmower. And this is still a dead end. Probably should have anticipated as much. Yeah, this is. Oh, it goes all the way. Two out of five. Where are we going? Oh, there's no logs. The turtles move faster than the logs. God dang it. noise, too. I should just follow the middle lane. That's what I should do. The trucks are so slow and nice. I don't like that. I don't like that series of jumps at all. Okay. Middle island area. Where am I going? That frog's still there. I know green is still there, so that's four accounted for. It really does want me to go all the way on that, uh... There, there is more to that path, isn't there? That is nutty. If my theory is correct. I think I at least know where we have to go, now that now the issue is just doing it. At breakneck... Breakneck task speed. Shut up, cars. Rude drivers in Froggerverse. They do do not take kindly to ve vehicular-sized frogs in the road. Here we go. Oh, it goes all the way! It goes all the way up. There are no safe havens in this level. I wonder how many times we're gonna see that screen in this playthrough. Bye. 
It's like, it's like Crash Bandicoot relics. I just have to do it perfectly. At record speed, that's all. Easy. I just gotta try a million times until I get it right, and then I'll have platinum. That was a cool jump. like a counter for the highlights reel. The game over count. Okay, this is a safe spot. I just gotta ride this stupid balloon. Where's the stupid balloon? There's the stupid balloon. Where's the stupid frog? There's the stupid frog. Okay, that is the farthest one of them. Now, I'm gonna try the ones across the street because I think those are the next most difficult. Maybe if I just get on them early, it's not so bad. This green guy, I'm worried about Mr. Lawnmower again. Okay, that wasn't bad at all. The orange one is gonna be the cake one. I just have to get past the stupid dogs reliably again. Just one more time. Oh, well, two more times, but... Just jumped right into it. <coughs> and I choked in more ways than one! Zen. Slow and steady. I am at peace with the world of frog. At all the time I need. <laughs> I did not have all the time I needed. Gotta do it. I'm also in the middle of Book of Mario 64, and I'm seriously considering starting another run of Majora Randomized since those new settings came out, because that sounds very cool! Very cool. And it's been about a year since my last Majora Randomized run our last. Last time I did it with Jack. Sounds like game over music. Why do all the victories sound like defeats in this game? I just got so lucky there. I'm gonna be a master at these fucking balloons. I'm going to be, I am a master. One more time with the dogs. That's all I need. Truly, the final boss of Frogger. I can't see the third dog from this position, is the problem. That's why I have so much trouble with these. Maybe if I turn the camera. I'll bet I still couldn't, though.
Okay, give me more turtles. Bring me turtles. Okay, Mr. Lawnmower, cooperate. Yes! This, I like this lawnmower better than the first lawnmower on the first version of this level. That lawnmower can eat a dick. And we're good. We did it. That's all she wrote. Play Twilight Princess Randomizer. Imagine I get stuck. Don't know any skips. Randomizers account for they they have options so that you don't need any uh, any like glitches or speedrun tech if you choose to set it that way. There's settings that you can make it so that you might need you know glitches like bomb chew hovering or whatever to get through things, but. I, I play them glitchless. You just have to, you know, know the game. There was a snake there. It's just, it's visual diarrhea, trying to keep track of everything in Frogger. I, th I don't think Jack would like this game. I don't think this is a Jack game. Hello, Mr. Phantom. You are just catching the end of the stream. I just did most of the first several worlds of this game. And I'm about to finish it off with this final level. Let's see how quickly I can do it. Ah! Last life already. This was a bad place to be! Okay, we can still do this. Just two frogs to go. One life. <laughs> the frame's slow on the hop. Gonna leave that level unfinished. Consistently getting that far left frog, at least, which is the most difficult one. Beavered, but I'm running out of space. We're good. Okay, purple and red. Still got three lives. Looking good. This is the one. This is it's our time. It's our time down here. went for that. That would have been a good log. One without a snake on it. That's fine. One left. Be impatient. This is it. We're gonna do it. We did it! Hey! People 
compete at the game, this game is their competitive Frogger. I imagine there's speedruns of it. There's probably, like, categories on speedrun.net. Are there spikes coming out of the bushes? Yes, you cannot touch the bushes. As in, original arcade Frogger. Well, I haven't gotten the game over yet. Oh, that's all the, that's all the world. So we did... Four... Of nine. Maybe if there aren't... Well, there's a lot of levels. You can see how many there are. There'll probably be two more streams, given that the levels are sure to get harder. I'm still in the middle of a... stock. A game, so I'll, I'll go until I get a game over, and that will be the end of it. We'll get a preview of Dark Dark Cavern. Oh, look, it's dark. Oh, I gotta eat bugs to light it up. And I'll bet I have a finite number of those. They probably don't respawn between runs. This seems much saner than the levels I just did. This seems way more digestible. Yeah, they don't respawn, so... Well, maybe they do. Act okay, they do. I think. Look at all... They're just hanging out back here. I just have to get back to the back of the level. This is way easier. Maybe they don't respawn. Why is this level, like, 20-something? Who made these decisions? They're just, they're, they're just all in a cluster. They're so easy to get to. Funky music is back. Hey, hey, hey. It's a spider. And I'm now short on fireflies. Okay. This game is just about memorization anyway. I have memorized, and therefore I will conquer. Look, I'll bet there's one right back here. There's the last fella. Yep, they're all just hanging back here. Now I can go up the relatively spider-free left side. Well, not spider-free, but spider light. Oh, that was the... There he is. Oh, we got a bonus level. At least one. Frogger goes skiing. Is this the ice level? In the cave world? This is the ice level. I remember this stupid level. This is quite a bit different from everything up to this point. Look at this nonsense. And dead. I recognize that sound. They use that sound in the Worms music. Oh, also it's still dark. 
and there's still a finite number of fireflies, so, uh... I guess after a few runs, I'm just gonna have to be going through this in the dark. Hello? You wanna jump? I don't think- he's not gonna jump at the end of that. I would've died. I don't know if I can control my speed or not. I must be able to, somehow. I'm just kind of- I'm just kind of listing a around left and right. Okay, no, I have to go fast at points. I see. Look how many lives I got. I think you don't have time to react when you're going fast, though. This- we're gonna be here a while, aren't we? On this stupid skiing level. Okay. So, slow is the way to go. On this whole first slope. Let's take the baby slope nice and easy. And then I'll have to go fast after a point on this one. But I can go for a while still going slow. And there's bats. Yeah, this is this is probably where we're going to end, and we'll come back next time to frog skiing. That sounds just like an old flash game, doesn't it? Like elf bowling, frog skiing. That seems like a thing that would have existed. Maybe that should be a Christmas stream. Maybe I should stream the elf bowling games. I had them on CD as a kid. That's something that merits archival, right? Future generations need to know about Elf Bowling. The acclaimed video game series. I don't know how it's not in Smash yet. Timeless classics, Elf Bowling. Okay, now is a good time to fast. Oh, it was. Uh, hmm. I gotta go fast and get Mr. Blue Frog. Okay. Well, there it is. We cleared the first four levels and a bonus level in World 5. And then we got five worlds culminating in the legendary Banana World. Next time. I've never seen... I don't know if I've seen Fishbone World. And I've definitely never seen Cactus or Banana World. Probably have proper names. I don't know what they are. But, uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I will probably be doing another Book of Mario. I might start that Majora randomizer this week. And then, most likely, Jack and I will be streaming something on Friday and or Saturday. Maybe do another Twilight Princess one of those days. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.